Hello family, so for today's reading we're gonna find out what are their current feelings for you and we do have three piles today, the lapis lazuli, the white quartz and the red jasper and I'm gonna choose three oracle cards for each pile in part. So we have pile one. Pile two. And pile three. So for pile one we have protection. For pile two we have translucence. And for pile three we have maximus. And now we will just go to the shuffling part. The part that I enjoy it so much because it's quite relaxing for me. And we're gonna find out today what are their current feelings for you guys. All right, so we have in my left side three decks of Oracle cards and on my right side four decks of Tarot cards. So we will just start to shuffle for pile number one and I'm gonna start with these Oracle cards from here. So what are their current feelings? for pile number one. We have this. For pile two. And pile three. Okay. So it here, pile one, pile two, and pile three. So one card from each deck of oracle cards. What are their current feelings for pile one? One and three and I'm gonna choose from the tarot cards two cards for each pile we have one the first one two for pile two and let's see for pile three also one and two all right So if you guys hear background noise, uh, those are the birds that come on my balcony to eat. <laughs> One and two. One and two. Let's see the pile three also. one and two so what are their current feelings so I'm gonna take this too
and for pile two we have one and two and pile three and just take this and I feel like it's this one okay and the last but not the last what are their current feelings one and two okay we have one let's just take one more and for pile three there you go thank you so now that we have the cards um, we will just start the reading hello pile number one so for those of you who choose the lapis lazuli crystal uh, which is a stone of intuition and wisdom um, let's see the cards so we have for pile number one elixir of life we have thankful we have escape the hermit the king of swords the female archetype we do have the queen of cups the knight of pentacles the emperor the magician the ace of earth which is the ace of pentacles and the three of fire which is the three of wands all right so i already see here that this person because you guys choose the lapis lazuli crystal this person it's very wisey and very intuitive and can see really the truth within this connection and when it comes about their feelings that they have towards you with the magician and the emperor energy here so they really are able to go inward because we have the hermit energy here they are really they really can go inward and uncover the truth and they are really very supportive when it comes about their feelings towards you they are very aware and intuitive and even they carry this energy of wisdom keeper i could tell and with the oracle card here protection i feel like this person uh engage here with the emperor energy in really protecting their feelings and protecting your feelings as well and protecting you when it comes about other people so this is quite powerful energy even like father figure energy but it could be as well a person who is really uh, looking forward to have a relationship with you so i already see here with the elixir of life card that they really enjoy your presence here exactly like this woman who leans towards this red beautiful rose uh, and enjoy really the smell and the color and its own beauty despite the thorns 
and I do feel here with the with the escape card that they really feel like they want to escape into this beautiful uh, land where they could really enjoy the feelings that they have towards you and create some sort of positivity i see also here with the thankful card with the oracle card that they carry this wisdom within themselves where they are saying that we don't always have to be thankful for what life brings us but it's the way in which we truly respond that makes the difference and they feel like they are really thankful towards this connection that they have with you and grateful as well and i see here with the escape card uh, if we look here at the picture we have mars in pieces and they are really very understanding they have a lot of sympathy with this card and also they carry this energy of sacrifice in the same time we see here this chariot pulled by tigers and they really escape from something uh, from which they really turn their back and they are really ready to take a flight together so there is this powerful we see also here um, a sign that says that they are really very powerful when it comes about moving and going towards this connection and I are I as well see with the Hermit card that when it comes about their feelings, they are really reflecting on transformation. They are thinking about what they truly want, uh, who they truly are. Um, they like to spend time alone, but they are really very self-aware and they are not thinking necessarily about love right now. But not trying to connect truly but they are really they might show up with the king of swords as well that they might be cold and detached and that love is not really a priority but deep down within with the queen of cups energy i see that they really have feelings but it's really they are really trying hard to not show so they are quite tactical and structured type of person and they don't really like to lose control so it will take a while until they truly confess and that's because of with the escape card here and the queen of cups i feel like they really had um negative experiences in, in past where they might have been emotionally hurt and they have this attitude with the king of swords of really putting the head over the heart and uh, they, are, they might appear like they are in guard and trying to do their best to hide their feelings even for themselves and they might even may convince themselves that they don't like you or deliberately ignore to really reduce opportunity of you sensing their feelings in any way but if you guys decide that you're it's enough with this hot and cold feeling and you decide to really walk away for those of you who are in a relationship it could be that they choose right in that moment to really open up themselves and um, fight for this connection as well drop their guard and fight for it and of course they are going through this period where they really realize that it's totally okay to be vulnerable underneath and they're quite loyal and romantic and very protective I can see here with the Queen of Cups and the protection card and they are really very in touch with their own emotions a very nurturing side and loving for some of you I see that they might really start to like you on a romantic level for those of you who are thinking on a person with whom they you guys want to be and they find you really attractive 
and they feel like they want to be close to you at all times and will do anything to get your attention. So these persons for pile number one, they feel very connected to you on a deeper level. They have feelings really intense of playful love and they feel enchanted by your beauty. And they quite see the world through rose tinted glasses at the moment, but they, they kind of feel like they met their soulmate. And they are very, very much in tune with their own intuition, which is now pointing very clearly towards you. They are also, with the Queen of Cups energy here, they are, they are also very aware of what they truly feel. And they are really very much in tune with their intuition, which is now really pointing towards you. They, they are aware of this effect that you have on them. And even uh, though the intensity scares them at times, they can't help but look for you everywhere they go. So they, they are like, they want to take care of you with the Emperor energy here. They really want to protect you and make you feel appreciated and wanted. And they feel like you deserve so much and they can really wait to accompany you on your path. And they feel very excited about the possible future you could have together. They, they also likely have clear visions. I can see here with the with the energy of the Queen of Cups, they have clear visions, vivid visions of what your future together would look like. And with the Knight of Pentacles, I see here that they really feel determined to win over your heart. They are dedicated and reliable, and they really have a clear vision of your future life together. So, I can see that they they like to have things plan out and have a positive feeling about where this relationship could, could really potentially go. And they are willing to work hard for the goals, especially those that they really have in mind. And they are motivated by the clear visions they, they've created for themselves. Uh, even though they work too much for those goals and they kind of forget um, to really have fun uh, because they work too much um, it, it's up to you to really remind them to have fun meanwhile I see also here with the emperor energy for pile number one that they might look like they are private and reserved and that's because of because of their um, personality that they are really very structured and they truly have principles. But with the magician energy, they are self-aware and intelligent in taking actions and they really feel confident. Uh, you guys make them feel confident within themselves and they feel inspired because of you. They really feel creative because of you. And I see here also with the Ace of Pentacles that uh, they really have positive and strong feelings towards you and they really want to secure in this connection with you. They feel like you will make a great team together and they really see a future and feel at ease being around you as well. So they truly want to man manifest you here with the Magician and the, the Ace of Pentacles. So they have their eyes on you for quite a while now and has been focusing on ways to get you to notice them. They truly have a very clear goal in mind when it comes to you. And they are like really fascinated by your personality here. And they truly feel like you're a piece of pure magic. So really thinking on the best way to approach you, to really make it clear how much they actually like you. And when they decide to open up, they, they really won't hold back anymore. They go in and put themselves and their feelings online, even 
thought they might be scared that she could reject them. And they really dare to take the risk and feel this strongly urge to provide for you and take care of all your wants and needs. So for pile number one, I feel like this person, they really, um, they always have you in their mind when it comes to their future. And they also have big plans when it comes to building a stable income together. And even for some of you, it could be setting up a business for those who are not really in a um, romantic relationship. But this person really finds you very attractive, very creative. You inspire them. They really want to build something with you. And they also see you very driven and focused when it comes about your own dreams and goals. So they really love your individuality here. And admire the fact that you have a clear vision when it comes to your life. And they will really be truly honored to be part of that. And we also have here the, the three of fire. And I, feel with the th I see with the three of fire that they are really very supportive. Supportive towards your goals, towards your desires as well. They keep account on what you truly want and need. And I see here that maybe some of them, they didn't confess to you, but they really feel inspired. Like I see three cards here where I, where the, they carry this energy of, oh my God, when I see this person, I really feel inspired. I ins feel inspired to create this and to do this. So they might look up to you as a role model or being out of your accomplishments. But this person likely feels very proud of you and wants to help you achieve even more. And they may also be attracted to your boldness and courage. And this gives off very strong vibes of being independent and knowing how to take care of yourself as well. They love seeing the passion that you put into everything that you do. And it really inspires and motivates them as well. And these feelings may show up in a romantic context also, or they may simply be platonic admiration. But if we look at it in a romantic sense, it in, in any case, it's a very good sign with the three of, uh, three of ones. Because if you are already in a relationship with someone, these cards indicate that they are feeling very, very attracted to you and really very inspired when it comes uh, about you. Very physically attracted and thinking about you a lot in that way. And this can be a very exciting time for, for uh, the relationship, for those who are in a relationship, as it may lead to a new level of intimacy. And if you guys are single or in a platonic relationship, I feel like this energy represents someone who is really starting to develop strong feelings for you. And they may be unsure of how to express these feelings just yet, but you may start to notice them acting differently around you as well. So they may become a more touchy-feely or want to spend more time with you or find excuses to talk with you. And that is because they really feel very inspired to stay around you, to protect you and to really build this new world together with you where both of, both of you can inspire each other and feel very creative and really build a strong structure. I see here a manifestation um, energy as well. So pile number one, whoever you are, you are very like, lucky. You are dealing with a person who is really very strong, very powerful, energetic, and very protective as well. So that was my reading for pile number one. I hope you enjoy it and see you at the next reading. Hello, pile number two. So for those of you who choose the white, quartz this beautiful crystal it looks like this um, and with the oracle card translucence love the darkness we will show the cards now
So for pile number two, we have the flower spirit. We also have renew it. Let's just put it like this. Companionship. Okay. We have nine of wands. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. We also have the Strength. We have the Seven of Fire, which is the Seven of Wands. the Ten of Water, the Ten of Cups, we have the Sea Queen, which is like the, the Queen of Cups, and we have the Sun. Pile number two, let's see what are their feelings towards you. So. I do see here that this person that you are thinking about, they went through some sort of transformation with the translucence card, a love the darkness and renew it, which tells me that they really went through a very deep transformation where they were really in so called the dark night of the soul, where they had to really heal themselves and reborn. With the Nine of Wands card energy here, I do feel like they found their way to balance themselves and to really, even if they were so scattered and hurted, they really uh, bloomed and reborn from this situation that they had to deal with. And I see here as well with the flower spirit that they really feel, for some of you, it could be a person who is really feel, feeling um, have those feelings of friendship towards you uh, very connected to with your soul very tender very joyful exactly like this uh, girl that she's hanging on this flower and she's connecting with it they are really very tender and sensitive when it comes about uh, their feelings towards you and they really listen to their own hearts what uh, their friends are telling them and they really provide this soothing cares when they when they get prickly so they are like enjoying life and they are really very playful in their own heart and they also feel like you are a source of inspiration and joy for them so their visions really helps them to see the good in all things especially themselves when they are connecting with you and i see here with the renewed oracle card that they are they are they are like we cannot move forward unless we stop so they feel like they want to rest when it comes about your company and they want to assure that they are able to continue on this journey and they want to renew the passion for the future as well for those of you who are in a relationship with this person and they really feel uh, find you like a good companionship for for them for their life the companionship card it's the moon in libra and the moon in Libra carries this energy of sense of justice and beauty and security. It's this, there are these four classical feminine figures and they are linking their arms in friendship and below hands grasping greetings. And the, prob 
pomegranate is a symbol of the sun and indicates fertility and growth. So they, are, they might seem like they are really, with the moon energy here in uh, Libra, they might seem like they are really influenced by those around them, but they really care how others are feeling and they can be quickly upset when all is not harmonious, but they are really vulnerable. Um, immersing their own emotional needs in someone else's difficulties. And one of the things that this card indicates is that they really have this powerful desire to please and keep everything in balance emotionally. And their env environment is quite very important for the Moon Libra's energy here where they really want to build this atmosphere where everything tastes good and everything is beautiful and they have this emotional idealis. They want to feel one with their own partner in a very harmonious settings. So they might be like, they might feel like they are um, having all the time this constant need to act as a peacemaker between two other people and um, they really keep account on how others people feel and act because they know that this affects other people as well so they carry this feeling of um, marriage or relationship enter it into purely for emotional and domestic security with the moon in Libra here. So they carry this energy within themselves, your person. And I see here with the tarot cards for pile number two, that when it comes about what they are feeling towards you uh, or how they feel towards you, it suggests that someone, your person has a lot of respect for you with the nine of wands here. And this person likely see you as being very strong and resilient, especially if you have been through a lot in your life. And there is a strong sense of admiration coming from this person and they can even look up to you as a role model. So if you are in a relationship with someone, this card uh, often indicates that this person is very loyal and committed to you as well. And with the nine of swords here, they are really, uh, nine of wands, sorry, they are really willing to stand by you through thick and thin and will always make sure to be there for you no matter what. So this person has a lot of faith and trust in you and believes that you are capable of overcoming anything. And it also suggests that someone is feeling very protective of you as well. And I see here, this person is really determined to keep you safe from harm and will always be on the lookout to support you and comfort you in times of need. They're like, they know to balance, uh, they know that you have been hurt in the past and they know how to protect you. However, it is really important to know that it doesn't always have to be another person who feels this way about you. Uh, the person that you are thinking about has a lot of respect and admiration for yourself. And this is very positive card here to, to encounter. And it indicates that you are comfortable in your own skin. You are confident and know your own worth and you are not afraid to stand up for yourself. So you have this uh, strong sense of loyalty um, but they also feel that, that they feel loyal to you, towards you. And they also believe very much in your own abilities and the, in their own abilities as well within this connection. The person that you are thinking about um, 
they feel very encouraged to follow their dreams and pursue their goals. They are feeling strong towards you and capable that within this connection there is you both might have everything that what it takes to succeed as well so even if it's a love connection or a platonic connection they do see the qualities they do see the strength that it takes to really uh, accomplish something together and i see you also here with the six of cups card that's very interesting because now I see that they are looking with the nine of wands, the nine of uh, uh, wands and the six of cups. They are really looking uh, towards the memories. For some of you, you might have been together with this person already or had shared some good memories together because they are leaning towards, they are trying to push back, as we see here, this uh, thorned rose even if they are bruised and they are leaning and harmonize and temperate this energy leaning towards the good times and the good memories that they have with you they keep very fondly of those for those who know each other um, and for those who just met or you are not yet in a relationship they might feel like they are really focusing on the good things that you guys might have. But I see here for pile number two that it could be a connection with someone from the past as well. Because they are looking very fondly uh, towards you. Um, they had really good memories with you. And this is really a very positive uh, card. Because it represents this sense of importance and appreciation that they have towards you. And I see here also, on the other hand, that it can also suggest that this person is feeling sentimental and might be longing for simpler, simpler times with, together with you. And they may miss a time or place um, from the past they could f be feeling really nostalgic so if you are in a relationship with this person i feel like they are really happy in their um, connection with you and that they feel deeply loved by you as well with the six of cups and when when for some of you when the person in question happens to be an ex-lover it might not resonate with all of you the six of cups indicates that they are still they still think of you fondly and are missing the relationship that once was and they really had good memories with you and they just like to think back on on the time that you guys had together and for some of you who are not in a relationship or haven't been in a relationship I see here with this card that when it comes to friendship they are really missing the childhood or a time or a place from the past and if you are not in contact with the person in question anymore they are having really fond thoughts of you and miss your company. And they are really thinking with the with the four of cups here energy they might feel overwhelmed or they might look meanwhile they go through this process they might appear to you that they are uninterested in what is happening around them and they may be feeling pulled to withdraw from a specific situation or feeling nostalgic for a time gone by so even if they are feeling overwhelmed or maybe when they are unsure of what to do next um, they really need they might show up that they need some time alone to process their feelings before moving forward and 
I also see that they may withdraw from social situation to truly come into deeper contact with their own feelings and intuition. And when it comes about uh, love and relationship, they are feeling a sense of distance from, from their actual partner, maybe. And this can be either be due to a disagreement that may have happened earlier, or simply a feeling of um, not being connected on the same level, it could be. And this may really result in withdrawing emotionally from the relationship or longing for a time when things were more simple than now. And at as as the same time, I see here a sense of motivation and potential for growth. So if, if they are feeling overwhelmed within their current situation, things are not really as bad as they seem and there is a potential for things to improve in the future here because we have those three cups here and this uh, cup offer it. And they are quite very strong with the with the strength card here. They, this card suggests that they really have strong feelings towards you. They enjoy very much your company. And they also see you like a strong person as well. I see here um, with the seven of uh, fire, which is like the seven of wands, that... Um, they feel quite confident and determined, ready to take on whatever challenges come, come their own way. And they feel like they are in control of their own destiny. They manifest here with the strength card. If we look at this picture, they have this wand in their own hands where they really want to manifest. And we have here... Um, this wand from from the horse which is like a powerful energy shift where they really manifest their desires so they really feel like they are in control of their own destiny and they are really definitely not uh, not the quitter type and they really can see through any challenges really through the end so they are quite powerful as an energy and they have this strong sense of self. They are not afraid to stand up for what they believe in. So they really feel to, they are drawn to your strength as well and your own determination. And they do know that you have this tendency to see the best in people and believe um, that they truly have this potential to be great. So they admire that within yourself very much and they feel so drawn towards your energy because you see those good parts from themselves and they could see yours also. And they are really, they have this energy, they feel towards you that they want to help you. They want to help you to reach your goals um, and that might be what sets them apart from most of the people because they really see your goals and they want to help you with it and i see here with the seven of wands the seven of fire energy um, they also looking towards a partner who is really equal uh, and they feel confident in your own uh, abilities and in their own abilities as well and they just want someone who is just as strong and determined as you are. And they are really attracted to your confident and uh, go-getting attitude for pile number two. They see you as a challenge and someone who is really worth putting in the effort for. And in a friendship, for some of you who are not in a relationship, in a friendship... Um, you have, they have this energy where they really feel drawn to those who share similar values as the, their own. And they really like being around people like you who are not really afraid to speak their mind, who are uh, always up for a challenge, I can see here. Um, 
And I also see with the Ten of Water, which is like the Ten of Cups energy, that they have this strong sense of happiness. And I see with the Sun energy also here, they really, they have this sense of happiness when it comes about you and they feel really happy with you. So if you are currently in a relationship, this card um, indicates that you are feeling loved and supported. And you may, you may also be feeling um, confident, but they feel they have this because the energy is fluid. So it could be your energy or their own energy. They feel really when it comes about you, they feel supported and loved by you. And they feel confident and fulfilled in the other areas of their own life. So they feel like really delighted with uh, what it's about to come forward within this connection. And even if it's um, a connection where there is an important goal or in your personal or professional life, this Ten of Water, the Ten of Cups, is the ultimate symbol of contentment and achievement. So I see here that there is this strong sense of passion and fulfillment. And once they are deciding to move into the direction where their own intuition is telling them to go, they, uh, they have this sense of happiness and contentment and achievement within this connection or partnership that exists. So there is this time of transition here with the Ten of uh, Cups uh, and they are willing to take the next step with their partner or maybe even moving to a new house for some of you. I feel like it's they are th really thinking of taking the new step forward. So even if this change uh, can be scary for them, they do know that it could lead to beautiful new beginnings that you guys might have together. And they feel really lucky. They feel grateful. Um, as if all, all the pieces of their own life are finally starting to come together. They do feel your presence like a really good companionship. And if you guys are going through a thought time, however, uh, this is really encouraging here because better days are on the way. Believe that. And this is a great sign with the Ten of Cups here uh, in terms of willingness to commit and build a future together. And this person has really strong sense of love and belonging uh, when they are with you. It suggests also that it's a, it's a great sense of positivity and optimism about the future of this relationship. And we also have here the scene. I see now the Sea Queen, which is so beautiful. Look at these two cards where um, he leans with happy and joy towards this abundance. And we have also the Sea Queen here, which is like the, the Queen of Cups. And she's looking back towards. They're like facing each other with happiness and joy and contentment. And sun again, happy energy. And I see here with the with the sea queen, which is like the the queen of cups, there are many loving feelings. And this person is starting to like you on a romantic level. For those of you who are not in a relationship yet, and they really find you very attractive. And they feel like they want to be close to you at all times and will do anything to get your attention. Like this person feels very connected to you on a deeper level. And they have these feelings of intense and playful love. And they feel enchanted by your beauty and see the world through really rose tinted glasses at the moment. But um, they feel like they truly met their soulmate in you. And they also enjoy the fact that you both have uh, many shared interests and they might feel like they can get enough of talking to you and being in your own, in your presence around your persona. 
and they feel very much in tune with their own intuition, which is pointing them very clearly towards you. And they are really aware of the effect you have on them. And even though the, the intensity scares them at times, they can't help but look for you everywhere they go. So they really want to take care of you and make you feel appreciated and wanted. And they feel like you deserve so much more and they can't wait to accompany you on, on your own path. They feel very, very excited about the possible future you could have together. And quite happy. They also have these vivid visions of what your future together would look like as well. So they are quite looking very optimistic, very positive towards this connection, even though even if it's a romantic relationship or um, a person with whom you have been together uh, until now, they are looking really very fondly on those good memories that they had with you and they want to build with you. Uh, they are strong, they have strong feelings towards um, pile number two and they are renewed. So they went through uh, some sort of transformation here with the Translunces card and the, their feelings are renewed from a different, stronger perspective. So that was my reading for pile number two. I hope you enjoy it and see you at the next reading. Okay, pile number three. So for those who choose this red jasper, uh, we already know that this crystal it looks like this. It's used by shamans and healers. And uh, it has this beautiful color of earth and blood. And it really symbolizes in the it's it's derived from the Persian word treasure, and its own meaning can be really traced back to biblical times, and this was really traditionally assigned to the wise men, also known as Maj or the three kings, who are said to have visited the newborn Jesus. And I feel with your person that because you choose this crystal they really manifest a lot of strength and courage and wisdom and it has these healing properties as well of uh, curing creative blocks and encourage grounding and stability by connecting us to nature on a much more deeper level and i feel like your person is really connecting with you way much better in manifesting uh, their material world their physical health as well and uh, the connection with the nature. So it, they also see within your connection that they might prosper, they might feel creative and they feel really poor joy. So they also carry this wisdom with the Oracle card maximums, which is like, how can you feed others when your own table it's empty? So they carry this wisdom within themselves where they know that they can offer uh, direct proportionate with what they have within themselves and they offer themselves as well. So they are very wisey. For pile number three, whoever you choose this uh, crystal, uh, your person is quite very wisey. So let's see the, the cards now. And let's see what they are feeling towards you. We have the red garden. Let's put it here. We also have understanding. We have inheritance. We have the magician. The empress. We do have the three of wands, which is like the three of um, the three of wands, <laughs> like the three of fire as well. The eight of wands, a lot of fire energy here. 
so your person might be in like um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have the love card, which is like the lover's card. Very beautiful representation of the strength. We have the six of air, which is like the six of swords. The strength card, again strength. So we have here and here. Very beautiful. And we do have the chariot energy also. I hope you guys see good the, the cards. Let's move them a little bit to the left. Yes. All right. So we do have here the maximum energy with how can you feed others where your own table is empty. And I feel like your person uh, really um, has this idea about um, how to really um, give to, to yourself and to the others exactly what they have within themselves. Everything that they build within themselves, they offer it. And this is what they have. They are like, this is what I have and this is what I give. No ways around. Very transparent, very honest within themselves and with the others. And I see here the red garden energy. And with the red garden, when it comes about their feelings towards you, they feel gratitude, they feel pleasure, they feel happiness. We see this woman here, she's really strolling towards a garden full of flowers. And if we look at the sky, the sky really glows with pink petals and the ground really turned into um, luminescent blue. And they find, this tells me that they really find great peace in being one with nature and being connected with you. And these flowers became a part of their body. And they have also this small parrot on their shoulders. So during their own walks down the path of life, they keep really happy and gratitude in their own hearts. So they really simple, uh, they notice the simple pleasure of life and they feel really thankful for all the nature that has given to them. And they feel actually very uh, pleased to know you, whatever this connection it is. And we also have this oracle card, understanding, understanding the mistake. We see the lighted aspect archetype and the, the shadow aspect as well. And mistakes are easily made and sometimes difficult to fix, but it's way much harder still to forgive. So we need to understand that mistakes are not purposeful, but accidental and on the odd occasion. So we are all prone to accidents. So mistakes can come in different shapes and size, but the trick is to make them irretrievable. So though this person that you are thinking uh, of it, they gained this understanding, they gained this insight into their own situation, which really requires them to understand the circumstances without bringing um, their own biases into the situation. And this could sound like easier said than done, but uh, they are like, this is a time for them where they really need space and time to see what has happened already into their life clearly. And for some of you, your person might be in the middle of the fight where they are um, finding ways to survive rather than ways to respond. And they might have taken a time, uh, a time out because they know that if they offer themselves because we have here how can you feed others when your own table is empty if they offer themselves this uh, insightful understanding concerning their own mistakes 
or the mistakes of the others and um, they really offer themselves this break they could gain a way much deeper understanding on the situation and they know that if they t let a little bit of time pass then they can relook at the situation and it will look very different to how it looks right now so they do need this right now and we also have here this oracle card in heritage with the saturn in scorpio and the saturn in scorpio tells me that your person is really ambitious they do have this type of self-control and they are going through <clears throat> sorry they are really going through some sort of regeneration right now and maybe they are focusing on their finances at this moment or their uh, the shared property that you might guys have together or some kind of property that they are dealing with and they uh, this type of um, problem or challenge i will say that they are dealing with right now it really requires self-discipline and responsibility because they are somewhat perfectionist in their own work and they might seem that they are going through extremes uh, but it's really very important they are like focusing very much on the work on the reputation among among uh, workmates that they may have or colleagues because those colleagues might be hard uh, taskmasters and i feel like your person uh, they have this ability to to um, where they really find difficult to realize when they have taken on too much uh, to the detriment of their own health so uh, maybe you guys can interfere here and uh, let them know that uh, they should take care of, on their own health as well and i feel like they are really dealing with financial and legal problems right now so managing uh, dealing with other people's property or selling on behalf of another person a uh, situation invo involving really long and patient work and i feel like they are really focusing on this right now when it comes about your uh, their feelings towards you they manifested you with the magician energy here and I, I already see that they see you like their own empress. The empress carries this energy of motherhood and uh, divine feminine. Um, and they feel like they found their divine counterpart or they see you like uh, for some of you, it could be the mother of their kids or a possible long term partnership as well. And they do see you very creative with uh, creative powers uh, talent and quite very potent energy when it comes about the connection that they have with you it's like it's like you are holding this magic hat and they feel like home with you and they do know that y uh, you have uh, they have this intention uh, to really create uh, a very beautiful surrounding for you uh, where you might enjoy being surrounded by plants and animals for some of you because the skills are really manifested by those four elements um, the magic one which is the fire the swan which is the water uh, the plants which is the earth element and butterfly which symbolize the air element so your person is stepping into these elements and they channel their creative energy and this really produced magical results so they manifested you into their life they learn how to channel their own power and they feel inspired and very creative when it comes about this connection very confident as well and i see here also it's interesting because they are holding this wand and they are leaning towards the empress which is your energy. It doesn't really matter if you are a man or a woman. Um, you carry this empress caring and nurturing energy within yourself. Um, there is this luxurious nature that she carries within. And 
I feel like they are really feeling very connected towards you. The Empress is the archetypal Earth Mother. We see this beautiful dress of flowers here and uh, she has uh, in this dress uh, this um, stamen and the pollen which represents sexuality and fertility as well. So it could be that <clears throat> someone, I can see here a small baby as well, so some of you might be pregnant um, and she's holding this unborn baby under her dress and she holds also this crown in her hands and she's like she's really ready to place up on the baby's head uh, as a gesture of protective love so they're they're like manifesting this protective love that they feel towards you being protective and very feeling very love loving towards you as well so they may carry this maternal instincts whatever the person you are thinking about they carry these maternal instincts within themselves and they really feel very connected very natural this connection with you abundant and they do see you like this fertile person uh, the archetype of the earth mother and i also see here like he's looking towards the empress as well so somehow they carry this magician energy and they are carrying this three of ones energy as well and i see now that when the Three of Wands appears, they are feeling very inspired by you. And they may look up to you as a role model or be in awe of your accomplishments. And this person likely feels very proud of you and wants to help you achieve even more with the Three of Wands energy here. And they really... Um, they are thinking about you in this way and you can often expect them to be very supportive towards you they may also be attractive to your boldness and courage as this gives off very strong vibes of being independent uh, and you might have uh, carry this energy within yourself where you really know how to take care of yourself and they love seeing the passion that you put into everything that you do and it really inspires and motivates them also and these feelings may show up in a romantic context or they may be simply be platonic admiration but um, if we look at it in a romantic sense I see here that Oh, and I see so many things. <laughs> I just saw the two black cats right now. Uh, but in black cat is really very protective, by the way. They really uh, want to spend a lot of time with you, always wanting to hear about your day and generally being very interested in your life with uh, this energy. And in any case, it is generally a very good sign when when this three of ones appears in the upright position. So if you are already in a relationship with the with this person, with your person, this indicates that they are feeling very physically attracted to you and they are thinking about you a lot in that way for those of you. And this can be a very exciting time for your relationship as it may lead to a new level of intimacy and I also see that for those of you who are really single um, this may your person that you are thinking about it's really starting to develop strong feelings for you and they may be unsure of how to express these feelings but you may start to notice them acting differently around you and they may become more touchy-feely they want to spend more time with you or find excuses to talk to you also uh, but they want to be in your presence and with the eight of wands here um, this is this card is really very positive i can see here that they are feeling very passionate about you and they are like eager to show it as well 
they are like um i can feel the vibe of um they really want to let you know how they feel they really want to to express those feelings towards you of how they feel about you or in within this connection and uh this represents also movement change and progress and they are finally ready to move on from the past and they are ready to open up to new possibilities also so if you have been waiting for someone to make a move or if you have been wondering how someone feels about you this is really a very good card to to receive in the reading for pile number three even thought it can be scary to to put yourself out there very often it will be worth it in the end <coughs> so <clears throat> sorry um looking back not many people regret telling someone how they feel but people often regret not telling someone how they feel so no matter what the outcome will be you will know you've given it you'll given it your all and uh they also feel like they don't have to look back later down the line thinking what if so they prefer to have this attitude towards you where they really f uh, want to express their own emotions their feelings towards you uh, instead of sitting with the feeling that they might regret of not doing it so i feel that they are really very courageous in manifesting this with the magician card and we also have the love card the love which is like the lovers but i i i kind of sense a vibe of strength because we have the lion here and uh, they with the love card i feel here that they are really they gain this wisdom because <clears throat> i can feel the connection between the lovers the love card and the maximum of how can you feed others when you when you're on table it's empty they gain this wisdom that uh, we are all reflections of one another and that everything that they put out there it's a reflection of what they have within themselves so when they make choices they tend to see things as um, either or they are like they feel like the experience that they have with you it's about sharing and exploring as well they are like in this vibe and they choose to see together with you especially within this connection they choose to see this unity in all the things uh, magic bonds i will call it where they feel like love is all around them and spirit loves them unconditionally and they can give and receive abundant love and with the lover's card here i they are like they see you like their own soulmate lovers energy it's not only about physical attraction or sexually attraction or um satisfying some sort of uh, social needs or psychological needs within this connection it also is a very strong spiritual connection between you and your person so it could be a a soulmate counterpart a twin flame connection um, we have more soulmates of course but anyway uh, a connection that it's not necessary from this lifetime but it could be from many other past lifetimes as well so they quite um, recognize that within themselves within them spirits and they also um, I see here with the with the six of air which is like the six of swords that they feel like they are uh, going through some sort of change a necessary change in thinking to gain greater wisdom even so they might be going right now through turbulent waters but they gain this wisdom that they know that um, if they create calm within themselves they know that their outer conditions will soon be calm too so if until now your person was conditioned to expect troubles ahead they have shifted this awareness and they know that they can choose to believe that stepping into the unknown 
will bring them to what they truly desire. So they are like in this transition to something better. And that it's manifesting a connection, a stronger, wiser uh, connection with you in this case, where they could really express their own feelings and their own visions about the future. Of course, they are uh, dealing with in heritage matters and legal and worker matters, but they do have those all those feelings towards you also. For pile number three, I see here also with the strength card that and we also have this lion here, which looks like even if it's um, this uh, tarot deck, it's from the good tarot. And uh, in another deck, we have the lover's card, but it looks quite similar with the strength energy from Rider Waite deck. And we also have the strength card. So it's like double confirmation of the fact that this person, that pile number three, your person, whoever you are thinking about this person, it's so powerful, very, very strong, very wisey, very awakened, uh, very aware of their internal struggles and aware of your struggles as well. And so courageous here very courageous it's like they are even though they are carrying this uh, motherhood divine feminine awaken it within themselves they carry this fire energy fire element uh, for some of you it could be a fire sign like aries leo or sagittarius they carry this uh, fire within their eyes within their heart within their <laughs> road it's like um they are very quite powerful magicians so i feel like whatever they are they wanted to manifest you a better you maybe uh with a greater wisdom because the reading it's like the energy could be yours or theirs but it's fluid so they are really manifesting you very powerful very strongly they dreamed about you and I feel with the strength card here that they have within themselves those instincts that they are really very a very powerful force so they like they know their their stuff and they are really guided your person might be guided by their own instincts and their own instincts tells them that okay now I am safe or now I am in danger and they do know when to act when to remain still what they should eat, whom they should trust, but they are not slaves to these uh, <clears throat> natural inclinations. They are far too evolved for that. They are really mastering their self-control when, when it is called for. And we also know because we have the, the black cat here, even the most powerful impulse of our nature to hunt or, or our prey can be subdued by the strength of our character. And nothing is more ferocious than a cat. And when we choose, nothing is more gentle. So, um, I feel with this energy here that even if they have these impulses and motivations to act with their animal instincts, they know when to remain true to their moral convictions. And they have over come their baser instincts to choose the higher path and they are very courageous and, str and strong deeper than they actually know and or other people know and they really uh, have this strength to carry on through any type of challenge that they are dealing with so when they look at you when they are looking at their feelings towards you they can see through that as well through all the impulses, all the motivations, all the convictions, and they remain true to their own feelings that they have for you. So that's quite powerful, pile number three. Um, I also see here <clears throat> with the, the chariot energy that they quite wants to come towards you with the chariot energy here i feel like they respect you and they hold you in high regards whatever has happened and 
they have this sense like the chariot energy it's about controlling but it's not about controlling you necessarily it's about controlling themselves within this connection because um this person has really strong feelings towards you and they're like trying to hold into them without getting carried away by by those feelings and i see now with the chariot car with the chariot energy that uh, they are really pushing their own interests so they are really moving very fast um, towards this connection and i also see here that they really can hold their feelings under the control they don't really get carried away so easily they know where they want the connection or the relationship to go and this is where they are going with it so that's quite very interesting for pile number three uh, your person it's really very strong and they um, they also have these feelings of initiating to express their feelings towards you which are very very strong they find very they find you very sympathetic as well and they feel wholeheartedly for you uh, i sense within this uh, person for pile number three that they are objective and yet they could really turn away uh, for or against but they quite gain this wisdom of really see the good and bad in uh, in both they see the light and the dark aspects as well and they know that you are their uh, dream goal here and they may be seen they might have this uh, attitude of rushing too quickly into the relationship but they are like they are a winner <laughs> i feel like it's a strong energy here so uh, for pile number three I do feel here that uh, they really believe in this purpose within this connection and they do know that the, the universe will work with them to move really towards uh, greatness together with you and the success is really assured uh, whatever your person it is the person that you are thinking about uh, they really take action to set in motion and um, they do know that if they get interference from other people it could impede their own progress so they are like they want to clarify their own intentions towards you they want to make a plan to manifest a plan here uh, they gather their resources and then they just move forward so that was my reading for pile number three i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you at the next reading